so uh, something I learned from the start of my career was how very important first impressions are. Kirsty will make that first impression memorable and that's what you're going to need if you're going to compete against other people in this room for jobs. You need to be able to stand out. There's, there's a pretty big gap between university and uh, going into the workforce. And Kirsty is a specialist careers consultant who will be able to walk you through and teach you the skills of setting up your resume and preparing your interview. And this will basically shape your future. Okay, this is going to be a challenge which most of you, except a few in this corner, seem to think, <laughs> think it won't be difficult. Who is only prepared to drive half an hour from your front door to get an interview position? To, not to get it, but to work in a pharmacy that's only half an hour from your front door. You're going to have trouble with it. You, you're prepared to admit that? Yes. Okay, good. How many of you would be prepared to go to the country? Okay, so it's going to be a lot easier because our country is big <laughs> and there are positions in all sorts of places and if you find those positions then you get a great job that gives you fantastic experience, you're all going to have happy faces because you're going to get terrific jobs when you finish because you'll have that experience in a country area that a lot of city jobs will, will not afford you. So sometimes you have to step out of your comfort, comfort zone, even though it may only be for the 12 month period of the internship. Um, sometimes that's better than driving over an hour in, in Sydney traffic to get to a job and then still arriving late. And the number of jobs in the Sydney metro area are really on a decline. Um, even, even for pharmacist roles now, the number of pharmacy jobs that come onto my website, they're in the Sydney metro area, they're, they're a rare commodity. Most of the jobs are, are outside of Sydney, so you really have to be prepared to start thinking that you're not necessarily going to be able to work half an hour from home, and unless you want to sit at home and be unemployed for some time, which is not always uh, ideal. So, this is the website you need to go to. You need to fill out a registration form. You need to attach your resume. You need to attach a, a smiling photo of yourself. Um, and Kirsty will discuss photos later as far as resumes are concerned. But our photo is really just so that you, we, it's just for our profiles on our database so that when we talk to you, we see your face in front of us and, and know what, you're, uh, what you look like. Once you're registered, you're free to search for a job and you can select intern positions, you can select pharmacy assistants, whatever you want to do. You can either apply online or if you want to ring us, you can call us uh, and discuss any of the roles. You can let us know exactly what you're looking for so that we can, um, 
there's a possibility also on our um, positions vacant, um, positions wanted page. If you have a particular criteria that you want to adhere to as far as a role is concerned, you can send us a paragraph that we that don't list it with your name on it, it's, it's generic, but you tell us exactly the sort of job that you want, whether you want to be in a particular area, you tell us what your past experience is, for example, that you've worked two years part-time as a pharmacy assistant in a Sydney suburb, and we will post that onto our Positions Wanted page. And that way, employers come to that page and they will see your profile and they'll have a look and they'll say, oh, well, this sounds like just the sort of intern I would like to have in my pharmacy. So they contact us. We put the two of you together. We, uh, I discuss the role with you next and see if it sounds as though it's something that you're interested in. Put the two together and that's how the RSVP system works. So there are really, um, once you are registered, there are endless opportunities for um, full-time, part-time locums. It used to be much easier in the past to find constant locum work. Some people used to do nothing but locums. They didn't want to have a permanent job. And it was a lot easier five years ago than it is now. Although there are some people that still can make a good living out of only doing locums. And most of those people are ones that um, get a great reputation when they are doing a job. They make sure that they really put themselves out. They, they treat the staff well. They don't sit around if there's nothing to do. And so when they walk out of the shop, the staff will tell the owner, and the staff are your biggest allies, um, they'll tell the owner, I want this person back. So it doesn't take long for you to build up a small group of clientele that are calling you back all the time. But you really need to make yourself shine. And initially, you'll shine with your resume because that's the first thing people will see. And then your work performance will be the next thing.